God is permanently attracted to the rejected. What a true statement. I just saw a very brief video of this, a short on YouTube, and the scripture backs this up. Jesus was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. We didn't want anything to do with it. We ignored him. We, we, we cast him out. Hallelujah. Another scripture says, wherefore God, because Jesus followed God, he followed the will of God, the commandment of God. He was rejected and despised of men. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. God gets glory when we glorify Jesus. God gets glory when we praise Jesus and call him Lord. Hallelujah. I had a discussion with someone recently who tried to say, I just want the Father. I want the Father, not Jesus. He's just the Son. He's just the Son. There's no such thing as just the Son. For if you have not the Son, you have not the Father also, the Bible says. There is no Jehovah's Witness except one who accepts Jesus Christ as Lord. Then you can claim Jehovah as God, your Father also. But if you don't acknowledge Jesus Christ, the Bible says you don't have the Father. The Father, God, says you must acknowledge and accept Jesus Christ before you can be any kind of a witness. So God has highly exalted him, Jesus Christ, and given him a name that is above every name, every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee will bow of things in heaven, of things in earth, of things under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This gives God glory. When we say Jesus Christ is Lord, it gives him glory, glorifies him, makes him happy. Hallelujah. It praises God when we acknowledge his dear son as being Lord himself. He is Lord of all, King of kings and Lord of lords in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen.